Hey guys, in this video I'm going to overview this power station from all way. Uh, this station can output 2.4 kilowatts and the capacity is 2 kilowatt hours and we have battery expansion unit which is additional 2 kilowatt hours. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. In the package with the power station we get an AC cord to charge station, then we get an MC4 to XT60 connector, which is pretty short one, so we will need to buy additional extender to connect the solar panels. Then we get an XT60 to accessory port, 12 volts or 24 volts, and we're getting cable to connect power station to additional battery and here is a specification just to highlight it's lfp chemistry we can charge with 1.68 kilowatts we can get maximum 500 watts from solar output is a 2.4 continuous 4.8 kilowatts peak consumption and here's a usb ports and it's claiming that after 3.5 thousand cycles we're gonna get 70% of capacity. Weight for power station is 21.5 kilos or 47.4 pounds. On the front part of power station, we have this button to turn power station on and off. That one is to connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, this button is a charging speed. We can select uh, slow, normal, and quick charge. Then we have LED lights with the three modes plus SOS signal. Then we have four USB ports. Then we have a DC output port right here. Three outlets, 120 volts, 2.4 kilowatts maximum. And then we have one bigger outlet, which is rated for 30 amps. On the right side right here, we have a resettable fuse input for charging, AC charging cable. Then we have XT60 connector for uh, to charge this from an accessory port, 12 volts, 24 volts battery or solar panel. And then we have port for expansion batteries. We can connect up to four expansion batteries to this unit. There's a battery bank disassembled. Here's a manufacture date, which is a pretty fresh power station. We have a, here's a 10 watts, 33 ohms resistor, I guess for uh, passive balancing and the uh, cylindrical cells and I want to measure cell voltage and we have 339 volts which is confirming that this is LFP batteries our station and the battery fully charged and I'm gonna do a capacity test And station just shut it down. It shows is five percent. However, we cannot activate AC power anymore. Let's see what we got. And we got three thousand seven hundred seventy-one watt hour, and the test took four hours. And with USB, we're charging power bank, phone, and laptop. And we're getting somewhere 97 to 110 watts output. For AC test, we are draw one kilowatt from power station. So we're getting 120 volts. And we're getting pure sine 60 hertz wave. Now let's charge this station and see how long it's gonna take. I'm going to reset meter. We're charging with 1.4 kilowatts, 1.6 on this side. Let's come back in about 2.6 hours and see where we are. We are at 57% charging with 1.55 kilowatts. And the instruction is saying when we have host and battery connected together and uh, when battery is uh, and the host more than 15% state of charge, it's going to first charge the host and then charge the battery. However, right here I see that it's charging battery and the host at the same time. And the power station just finished charging. It took 4.88 kilowatt hours to charge. Power station state of charge right now at 57% and battery bank at 100%. And I did notice when I connected them together, 
looks like power station is going to recalculate state of charge between two of them and display this. So we are at 57 right now, but it's going to be 70, 77 right here. So I want, I want to do one more test. I will connect a heater and discharge power station battery for 20 minutes. And then I will see if it's, if it's discharging battery first and then power station, as it's saying in instruction, or it's going to discharge them together at the same time. I'm gonna come back in about 20 minutes and see what is the state of charge for power station and battery bank. I added additional load. So we're gonna do one more load test, 2.4, almost 2.4 kilowatts right now for 20 minutes. Okay, about 20 minutes passed. I'm going to disconnect load and disconnect the battery. Let's see what is the state of charge for power station is gonna be and the battery. So we are at 46% and that one still displayed is 100%, uh, 75%. So the power station, the battery discharging equally at the same time. Now I'm going to do load test. Let's apply two kilowatts of load. And we draw 2070 watts. Right now is um, 957. Let's come back in 20 minutes and see results. And I did run test for 20 minutes and power station was able to continuously supply 2 kilowatts. And uh, here is the application for power station. We have battery expansion connected to the unit. Uh, we, we can see this in the app and uh, we see 53% combined state of charge. On the input side, we're going to see how much solar or uh, DC power going into power station. Then we can switch uh, AC charging mode here from slow normal to quick charge. On the output, we can control AC, DC, USB, and LED individually. On data, it's going to be graph how much kilowatt hours was uh, generated by power station. On the other step, we can switch echo mode on and off and do timeouts. Then we can set timeouts for device and for DC standby. So here's all information about this. Then we can switch display brightness. It's interesting option. Then if we go to a gear icon right here, we can rename device and we can share device with someone else. And it's all controls we have in application. For solar charging, I have two solar panels. It's 400 watts each panel and the two of them connected in a parallel. They are shaded right now, so we're going to wait till full sun and we'll see what we're going to get. And we're getting 118 watts right now. Solar panels half shaded. So let's come back in about maybe an hour and see what we're gonna get when we have full sun on solar panels. Just change the angles of the solar panels. This is still shaded right here. And as of now, we're getting 320 watts. Solar panels almost unshaded and we're getting 315 watts from solar panels and it looks like it's some kind of limit for this power station because if I disconnect one of the panel so shaded panel that one is this one is disconnected we're getting 290 watts if I connect this back and disconnect other panel we're getting 190 watts. So together, I'm expecting to be more than 300 watts, two of them. And we're still getting 315 watts. All right, guys, that's all tests I want to perform for this power station. To summarize results, uh, on the pro side, I like uh, LFP batteries. I like Wi-Fi option that we can connect with application to control power station and uh, this charging speed button is a huge. I do a lot of camping and sometimes we have AC outlet but I don't know how much power we can draw from this outlet. If we connect power station on a f uh, and charge with a full speed 1.5 kilowatts it might overload line and circuit breaker is gonna trip. 
Sometimes circuit breaker is not available, so we're gonna be without AC power. Having this button, we can switch to slow mode and recharge power station over the night. And it's a pretty powerful unit. I was able to get 2.4 kilowatts continuous load for 20 minutes. On the improvement side, first is the cables. We cannot use it right out of the box with, uh, because it's not enough lens to connect solar panels and the power station. We have to have some kind of extension. And second is uh, AC charging cord. We have this unique plug and uh, my expectation is going to be standard plug. So I don't need to carry multiple cables to charge like different devices. Then, um, then MPPT charge controller, I was not able to get more than 315, 320 watts. Even I had uh, two solar panels connected, 810 watts, uh, two of them combined. And uh, looks like it's something with the charge controller. Maybe we need to boost voltage, but this solar panels is a standard panels with 40 open circuit voltage. So I would expect a full 500 watts out of those two panels. In the general, it's a nice quality power station and uh, it's nice to see one additional brand on the market selling power stations. That's all about this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.